What I'm going to show here is how to clip off part of a PDF that I have imported into my project. So there's two different ways that I could go about doing this. The first way um, is going to be in the place image and the georeference vector PDF command. So I'm, I got my PDF in here. I just dragged and dropped it in. And the um, first thing I want to do is just scale it like I usually do. So I'm going to scale this one in known distance of 100. And I'm going to go from the 0 to the 100 and hit Compute. And I'm going to skip over to the GeoReference Vector PDF button over here. And it's going to ask me what page do I want to do. And I only have one page in there, page number 8. And I click this box right here, Apply Rectangular Clipping. And I go cursor in here, upper left. And it's going to essentially let me draw a rectangle around the area that I'd like to keep. So I sort of want to get rid of all that junk off to the side and the bottom. So I make that rectangular clipping boundary. And it's it's going to be register is going to be grayed out. But if you just hit close, it will just clip off all your um, your PDF without geo-referencing it. So if you're just doing a takeoff, you don't really need to geo-reference it. You can just hit close and it will clip off the area outside of our boundary. So what you can do next is import your vector PDF data for the one page that I want there. I'm going to hit import. And the one thing that's nice about this one is if you do it this way, it will not bring in the CAD data of the area that was clipped off. So we'll give it a second here and you should see the PDF data comes in and it is clipped off. If I turn the PDF off, I do only just get the area that I'm in, interested in. So the second way that we want to do this is I'm going to close out, start a new project, and I'm going to bring in the same PDF again. Import page number eight. I'm basically going to follow the same direction here. I'm going to bring the PDF in. I'm going to scale it. So I'm going to put that distance of 100 back in. Find the scale bar. Go from 0 to 100 and hit Compute. So I can bring the vector PDF data in right now if I wanted to. We'll do that after I clip. So I'm going to close this out. I'm going to go to my CAD tools and I'm going to find the create boundary command. So what this will do is it will create a boundary around the area that I want to clip. So I'm going to call this page 8. I'm going to put it on the boundary layer. And I'm just going to go down to here into this point space. And I'm just going to draw around the area that I'd like to keep. So if I'm happy with that, that red line is going to be my clipping boundary. So I can just hit close. And we can go back to the image tab up on my ribbon. And I'm going to try the boundaries command. Add remove image boundary is the name of the command. So if you hit that button, it's going to open the command. It's going to ask me for my target image. I only have one. So I put a check mark in the box. It asked me for my clipping boundary. I can choose it. And then I just hit the Add button. So the only thing that's different about this is um, I'm going to get all the PDF information. If I bring the CAD data in, I'm going to get everything, whereas the other way it gets rid of the CAD data. But if you have odd shapes, this is the way that you're going to want to do it. Um, this is more useful when you have match lines. So if you had another PDF that you wanted to bring in to match up to this one and you had a line like this that you needed, this is probably the way that you would want to go. So if you close out of that and you go back to your import vector PDF data, you could bring it in and all the data is going to show up that possibly we didn't want. But there also is another little trick that we could try to get rid of everything else. So if I go back into my CAD tools 
and I go to the clip command, it's going to say, what do I want to do here as a method? So I want to remove lines outside the bounding line. So my closed line is going to be the one that I just drew as the boundary. And the lines to clip, I'll put my cursor in here. And I'm going to just select everything and hit apply. So some of this stuff came out of there. It didn't look like it got everything, but it's a little bit easier to clean up. Um, these may be uh, text items or something like that that just for some reason didn't want to clip out. But I could just come in here and just get rid of these a lot easier than all that other stuff. So just hit the delete button and just clean this up. And it's still just about as good as doing it the other way if you have you know, the non-traditional rectangle boundary. Hope that helps. Give me a, qu a call if you have any more questions. Thanks.